Certainly, I believe that one impact of this election is going to be a liberalization or an attempted liberalization of a number of the gun control laws or gun restriction laws that we've seen in this country. Uh, so I think that one of the main issues is that uh, affecting New Yorkers is that there's going to be what's called national reciprocity about concealed carry. So many more people who own firearms will be coming into New York, and I think one of the results will be many more firearms in circulation in New York. York. President-elect Trump has also said that he's going to end what are called gun-free zones, and the impact of that is going to be um, an ending of the restrictions on guns in areas like schools and military bases. He's also said that he's going to regulate the background check system, and so I think an, ish an impact of that will be that it will uh, over across the board be easier for people to get guns. I'm very much a centrist on the issues of, of gun ownership in the United States. I do believe that there's a Second Amendment that guarantees the right to own firearms for many Americans. And at the same time, I think that there are many people who are alarmed at what seems to be coming down the pike, things like restricting the background check system. There's a great deal of support for background checks, for example, even among gun owners. Um, other issues that I think are on the table right now are allowing people to buy automatic weapons like um, machine guns, uh, legalizing silencers. And what I'm hoping is that we can form some sort of centrist coalition that brings together people who are really form the, the majority, the middle in this country, people who support gun rights on one hand, but at the same time think that some of these issues might be pressing us too far. And so really I think one of the solution will not lie at the extremes, but really will lie in the middle. And really what I think we need to push for, again, is some sort of centrist position that, that respects gun rights on one hand, but at the same time really pushes back against some of these more extreme positions. And so in that regard, on one hand, of course, I urge people to join organizations that are pushing for reasonable gun safety uh, and, and gun violence prevention. Um, and there are a number of organizations out there. You can also, of course, write to your senator and your congressman. But more broadly, I think that we need to form conversations in the middle that reject these very polarizing positions as a way of creating our national voice.